to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you how to use the Valaman, Valaman or Valaman, I don't know how to say it, Valaman EDU Kit Solderless Educative, Educative Strouder Kit. And this is the EDU01 uh, model. And so yeah, I'm just going to show you the parts that come with it. So to open it, I've already opened mine, but there's a little thing right here, you just pop that open right here, on both sides. Then you have to put your fingers in between, and pull it open. So I've already opened it, so again, so here's the color sheet. And you get a manual, a little Valamin, Valamin, uh, Projects pamphlet, a uh, warranty and general information, and then you get a bunch of parts which I've already organized, and I will be showing you what they are. So, the first thing is that you need to, before you even start building anything, you need batteries. So, I have these, I have two Duracell, Duralock Quantum, and they have to be 9 volt batteries. So I have two of them, and these are not included with the kit, and you must buy them. You can find them at your local store. So, so you can buy these. I would recommend Duracell, Energizer, or it's one of the brands. But yeah, usually Duracell is the best, in my opinion. So, I'm going to put those aside. just want to let you know that you need to buy these. And they're not too expensive. And make sure they are 9 volt batteries. Um, so yeah. So the parts, I would recommend organizing them like how I have them organized. Remove the packaging away. And go through, go through each item. So you're going to want to take out all the parts. And I'm going to show you what they are. Here's the manual. So you're going to open up the manual. To the first page and the first thing it talks about is the breadboard so that's the first uh, part it says the breadboard will hold all your experiments the white lines show how the holes are electrically connected with each other so this is the breadboard you don't need to put this I don't put it in any plastic bag or anything I just keep it like this second part is resistors resistors and it says, various resistor values are supplied. They serve as current limit limiters or as volta voltage dividers. Resistors do not have a polarity. Resistor values are indicated by means of colorings. The unit of resistance is called ohm. See color code table in, in the package. So that's on the back of this pamphlet. I have like a color code. So the resistors, so I have this little thing I've labeled as parts, and I keep all my parts in a little, um, well, most of my parts in a, like, a, it's called a pill pouch. So it's pretty small little, um, little plastic bag that I, I find it pretty useful. So here's the resistors. They come in this kind of a packaging. They come in a big uh, line, or uh, like a big, uh, kind of like a bridge. So I already have a bunch of them opened up, but you can open this up, and it looks like that. They're all strung together, and all those resistors dropping everywhere, so I'm going to put them all back in the little uh, little bag. That's why it's really useful to have the bag, because they're easy to lose, these little resistors. So those are the resistors, and I'm just going to place all the parts I've already gone over, over, um, I'll just keep them, move the pamphlet over here and keep them right here. So the next part is cap capacitors, capacitors, it says a capacitor is almost like a small battery, it can be charged using a power supply that mostly used to stabilize or to filter out unwanted voltages. The unit is farad. Practical uses are 
it looks like a weird UF, NF, or PF. Supplied capacitor is an electrolytic capacitor of weird UF and has a polarity and the long lead lead or lead, I don't know, uh, equal plus. That's not, that's pretty confusing, but. Um, so the capacitor, capacitor is here. So here's what they look like. Just show you one. Okay. I'm gonna put these away. Next is LED. So you get green and red LEDs. So an LED is a light and emitting di diode. It can emit light using a small current, max 20 M capital A with a 1.8 volt drop. Watch the polarity long lead lead equals plus. So you can this shows you how to bend it. So that's no. This is yes. So the shorter side, shorter um, shorter kind of a leg is negative, and the longer is positive. And the LEDs are probably the funnest. Funnest, well not funnest, but the, I, I like them the most in the entire kit. So you get a good amount of them. I'll show you a red and a green one. So I've already bent this one a bit. It's red. This one is green. I have not used it yet. Next part is... Push button. Pretty self explanatory. A push button will conduct current when pushed and said pushed and interrupt the current when released. So it says the supplied button has four connections, but only two are used, two are interconnected, and it has a little map of the inside connection. Here's, you get two buttons. Look like that, and you can i kind of press them down and they make a little clicking noise. And then, after that is the buzzer. So the buzzer produces a signaling sound to alert for a dangerous situation. Timer confirmation, a button pressed. A button is pressed. The pitch of the buzzer can't be changed because the frequency of the oscillator is fixed. And they say it makes music. It does not make music. It's very, very loud, high-pitched noise. And I might show you it, it towards the end. But here's what it looks like. Again, the black is the negative, and the red is the positive, as shown in the little diagram. Next are the transistors. A transistor is an amplification device. By means of a small current, a much larger current is controlled. Transistors come in two flavors, NPN and PNP types, depending on the polarity. With this kit, you receive a BC557 PNP and a BC547 NPN transistor. A transistor has three pins, base, emitter, and collector. So there's a little diagram. So B is base, E is emitter, and C is collector. So the diagram's over here. And this is the little text passage. And the um the transistors come in like a little cardboard. I'll take them out. So I've already used one. So it has three legs. And uh yeah, so, and it comes in this little cardboard. And when you do it, there is a, there is one missing. 
in the cardboard. That's I think that's how all of them are. I'm not quite sure why, but there's always one missing. And um the yeah, so so just remember that the way I have them nicely packaged in little uh plastic bags, I would highly 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 recommend doing this. Helps you keep all the parts organized and I haven't lost any parts. And um but they don't come this way, they do just come in little uh they just come in little like sealed container uh sealed plastic packaging and you open them, they're gone. So just wanted to let you know. Next is LDR. LDR is a light dependent resistor. The a, a light dependent resistor behaves like a resistor. The resi resistance varies. Various, I think it varies on the amount of light falling on the device. It increase it decreases with in with increasing light intensity. And it looks like that. I probably have to take it out because you can't see that right now. So there's the top of it. It's pretty small. But yeah, that's what it kind of looks, looks like. And again, that's why it's good to keep it in a plastic bag so at least you don't get confused if it's just lying around. And then there's some more parts that they don't uh, mention, but there's one more part, which is the flat cable. Including in this English, including in this, I think it's included, in this box you can find a multi-core cable. There you go. The wires must be separated from each other before use. This can be done with using a wire cutter or a pair of scissors. Use the separate wire separate wires to connect components indicated in the drawing by a thick black line. Right there. And I've cut them all up and put them in this little plastic bag. Which I've labeled wire. Here's what one looks like. And then there's some more parts that they don't mention in the manual, and I'm not quite sure why. But I'm going to go ahead and close the manual. And so, I've already told you about the batteries. And the, they, you also, they also included is this kind of little black, looks like a wire, but there's nothing in it. So I'm not quite sure what this is used for. But yeah, you get that. And you get this, this is what connects your battery into your breadboard. So again, as always, the black is negative, the red is positive. So when you take your battery, on the top, you plug them in. So the tiny, the smaller one goes into the bigger, kind of a hole. And it clicks together. And then you plug these into your breadboard.